You alright, brother? Not good. You alright? Yeah. Get it? Yep. Welcome to San Manuel, Arizona, a very small town 45 miles northeast of Tucson that up until recently I knew nothing about except that the surrounding area is my absolute favorite riding spot in southern Arizona. It is home of round seven of the Arizona Off-Road Championship Series, the Copper Classic. In order to receive full points towards the season standings, each racer must work at least one race during the season. As a member of the club that hosts this event, I worked this event instead of racing it just as I did the previous year. This would be the 12th running of the Copper Classic, an event that benefits the struggling schools of this former mining town built in the 50s to house the workers of the local copper mine. From 1956 until 1999, the town was home to thousands of miners who found themselves without work when BHP, the company that owned the mine and smelter complex, unexpectedly and without warning shut down and laid off over 2,200 workers. With many former miners relocating to find work elsewhere, others, for various reasons, have stayed in the devastated town of San Manuel. The children of the few families that remain still attend school in the town. And as you can imagine, for a town this small that has lost its main source of revenue and employment, these schools are in need of financial support. Trail Riders of Southern Arizona, which is host of the Copper Classic, donates the proceeds of the race to the schools of San Manuel. Over the 12 years this race has run, TRS has donated approximately $20,000, but more could be done. TRS holds this race once a year, and is hopeful that those of you who not only enjoy the race, but enjoy coming out there to ride all of the wonderful trails that are out there, are willing to give something back. I think as riders, it's a good idea that we consider the amount of negative relationships we have with some of the communities where we ride, and take advantage of an opportunity to give back to a community that actually supports our activities there. This is one of those opportunities. You can donate through the PayPal link that I'm gonna leave in the description below straight to TRS. Just leave in the notes that the donation is meant for the schools of San Manuel and we'll make sure they get it. And all donations are tax deductible. TRS would be happy to provide you with a letter so you can use it for your filing during next tax season. You can also show your support when riding in the area by patronizing some of the local shops that still remain. The Copper Classic is one of the most popular races of the season. It features some of the fastest sand washes and flowing single track in Arizona. I personally would rather race here than work it, but I made the commitment to my club to help put on the race. It really sucks that I live so far away and my time is so limited. It really prevents me from being able to present a full representation of how much is involved in making this happen. It's a huge undertaking to put on one of these events, and even as a volunteer worker spending three days working the event, you only see a sliver of what's involved in organizing this event and making it a reality. For those of us who race, it's easy to take this all for granted.
Two years ago, I raced this course. It was my second race and I struggled a lot. In fact, I barely made it back. I remember thinking that it was too hard and for younger people, and it was too dangerous. Yet somehow, through the bruises, the pain, and the exhaustion, and the fear, it was still fun. In fact, I had so much fun, I just couldn't give up. And on top of that, I felt like this was a challenge that I could not back down from. Life is too short to just settle in and avoid challenges. I'm so encouraged by the first time riders that came out and took up the challenge of Sam Manuel. I'm sure each of you had a different experience, but if it was anything like my first time here, I hope you find the courage and drive to keep going. And I hope I see you at all the races in the future. I promise it gets a little easier each time, but at the same time, it's always challenging and fun. The day before the race started with marking some of the grass track area and setting up road signs. I took the opportunity to run the north loop of the race course before assuming my post at registration. It was amazing and I envied the racers who would be ripping through the course the following day. My intention was just to find some good spots to film the race from, but the trail was so much fun and I was in a mood to go fast. Later that day and early the next morning, my wife and I would find ourselves working registration, where we had the opportunity to meet many of the racers of this series, and I can tell you that these are the coolest people you will ever meet. After registration, I went out to film the sights and sounds of the 2018 Copper Classic. So I'm working my way out to get the shot, and I gotta get off the course, but I wanna get to a nice dramatic spot. The hard part is I got I'm going backwards on the course, so it's hard to see which my where my turns are. Obviously in here. There's no guesswork. Oh stop. above and beyond to get the shots.
finally like starting to get used to the gasser and it blows up. Is that your, is it new or? Yeah, it's relatively new. Wow. And, I mean, it's been through, like it went through King of Motos and it went through Rev Limiter. It's been through a lot in the time that I've had it. It was good meeting you. What was your name? Uh, James Flynn. James Flynn? Yep. I got you in the last uh, video. Uh, that's my oh, that's your dad? He's riding B, right? Yeah, yeah, I got him coming through a turn. I just put him on the video. I put his name in it and everything. All right, well, good talking to you. Man. It's good talking to you, man. I'm sorry about your bike, dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's, he blew his engine. Thanks, man. I got him already. And even while struggling, thinking of helping other people. You all right? What's wrong? My front tire is flat. Do you want to pull off or? All right, I'll be right behind you. That dude's got a flat, man. Yeah. Right there. I thought he wanted to bail out, but oh, so I've been chasing him until we could find a bailout and he kept on going. Oh, Guy's a freaking trooper, dude. He's yeah. hauling ass too on a flat. The chain, the chain snap. It's all. I didn't see it, but it's all smashed into the 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 bottom rear uh, chain guide, so the back tire's locked up. It's all clear up to you, yeah. except for that B rider stuck in the wash. I'm just clearing out all the C guys. Okay, good deal. One guy, he's having a hard time with a two. Ponytail, stroke. black. Yeah, black bike. Ponytail. I got him. All right. Are you all right? I'm trying to get it started. I just cleaned the plug out and put it back in and not wore out. You can't get it started? Yeah. You try bump starting it downhill? Not yet. <laughs> all right, they're calling somebody. I'm not sure what they're gonna do yet. Probably somebody will gonna come in behind me. You good? How'd it go? <laughs> it's good. Yeah. Thanks for asking. The race turned out to be a great success, and all the riders eventually made it back with only one needing medical attention. For my part, 
I got some much needed practice while riding the course looking for places to film from and searching for downed riders. With my worker points factored in, I'm currently in third place in the season point standings and only 18 points behind second. With a little luck and a good finish, I have a very good chance of taking second place on the season, but I can't get ahead of myself. I'll have to ride my best race and in order to do that, I need to spend the next few weeks getting ready. Whatever happens, just to have made it into the top five in only my second year racing and my third year riding, even if only for a brief period, I'm elated. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.